The Arturian Group Message, April 12, 2015 Welcome to Spring Dear Ones, how quickly this year seems to be moving along. Time as you have always known it is now different because as your energy is lifting and evolving, so are all the qualities of the third dimension lifting and evolving. Time is simply a measure necessary while living in the third dimension. We wish to discuss the energy of conflict. Conflict is the manifestation of duality separation consciousness. Everyone seeks the experience of completeness and wholeness as well as to be loved because it is the only reality, the real you, the essence of every living thing. However, those who do not understand this yearning, interpret it in ways that make sense according to their three-dimensional belief system. If I act a certain way, dress a certain way, look a certain way, make a lot of money, then I will be loved and lovable. Many seek it through multiple sexual partners, confusing love with sex. When this brings no real satisfaction, they move on to the next, and the next, always seeking that sense of wholeness and completeness that can be found only within. There are some who seek love and acceptance through violence, if I eliminate these people who disagree with the truth as I understand it, then there will be peace and everything will be perfect. I will be a hero. Belief systems based in rigid rules of right and wrong, and implemented by ego-driven and unawakened leaders as well as followers, have over thousands of years always resulted in the pain, suffering, and even death to those who disagreed with them. What is taking place in the Middle East is not new, it is very, very old, and does not belong to one religion alone. No belief system on earth is the one and only true teaching. All teachings are simply interpretations of truth. Truth only flows from within when an individual is spiritually ready to receive it. Many evolved teachers throughout the ages have received pure truth, but have been unable to pass it on to very many because those of less evolved consciousness were unable to fully comprehend what was being taught. Because of this, they formed concepts of what was being taught, feeding truth into their personal belief system, and then organizing it. Truth can never be organized or it is lost among those not ready. There is an old saying, if you can name it, or see it, that is not it, for divine consciousness can never be comprehended by the mind. This is the purpose of meditation, to move the seeker beyond the plotting, planning, busy, human mind. The one and only truth is, I am, words for which the Master Yeshua was put to death by an unawakened society unable to comprehend the true meaning of these sacred words. In reality there is no right and wrong, just each soul struggle to awaken through the experiences of the third dimension. We do not say there is no need for jails for there are some who need time away from society to think about their actions and who are unable to learn through the higher ways. We do say punishment should never devolve into ego-driven physical, emotional, or mental cruelty by those who believe that by virtue of their rightness the others deserve anything they do to them. Much of what you see in the Middle East represents the manifestation of very ancient energies now surfacing and being exposed. Violence never solves anything nor can it ever result in true peace, for violence is a self-perpetuating energy, a lesson most governments have yet to learn. Try not to dwell on the issues of violence you are aware of, for that simply feeds energy to them. Your work, because you have chosen to evolve and move into unconditional love, is to live it. Live love in every seemingly insignificant moment of your day. Love is the activity of a consciousness of oneness and it matters not how small or large the activity, petting a dog, opening a door, giving a smile, or encouraging word while centered in the heart. These seemingly small things are the living of love, and as you learn to live this way, you will draw to yourself more and bigger ways of expressing love. It all starts with one step, the life of spiritual awareness will not drop in your lap without effort and practice. Society, throughout time, has heaped praise and even deification on the greats of the human world, artists, actors, musicians, warriors, scientists, writers, religious and world leaders, etc. This is fine, but accomplishments interpreted only from the third-dimensional standpoint do not add more light to the world and often simply feed egos. That said, many of the world's greats were and are, 
very evolved souls, some from other higher dimensional star systems, who have chosen to incarnate on Earth in order to help lift the consciousness of mankind at this powerful time through their work. You are the ones who will change the world dear ones. Every bit of light you flow adds to the universal world consciousness and at some point the balance is going to tip. The light of awareness is growing by leaps and bounds now as many awaken to their and everyone else's true nature. What one does to another, one does to self for there is only one. This realization by a majority is what will end conflict in the world. It may appear as if the world is growing worse instead of waking up, but this is because issues that were heretofore unknown by most, are now being exposed. Things kept hidden by those standing to profit by or enjoy them, are now surfacing which is why it is so important at this time to use your intuition regarding everything presented to you by the news media. There are those who do not wish you to know about certain things and so try to negate reports or demonize individuals behind the exposures. You have evolved well beyond blindly accepting everything you may read or hear at this point, but it is very easy to slip back without question. This goes for channelings as well, so learn to listen to and trust your intuition for not everything you read is on the highest level. Exposures are helping to change and clear blind acceptance by those still enmeshed in the third dimensional belief system. There are many who still believe everything they are told by anyone holding a position of authority be it in the realm of medical, religious, expert, or government. Give gratitude when something is exposed instead of going into negative thoughts about the issue itself. Everything taking place on earth at this time is a part of the ascension process and your part is to live out from your highest attained consciousness of truth. Be good world citizens, vote and be informed, but do it with the guidance of your intuition, allowing yourself be guided to the candidate that most reflects the highest light while ignoring rhetoric so carefully scripted to tell people what they want to hear. You are on earth to participate in the ascension process of mankind and Gaia not to rest back in a meditative state, chanting Om. In the past, an individual could only safely pursue the spiritual life through entering a convent or monastery, and even now this is appropriate for some, but most of you came into this incarnation to be an active part of this process. Life is not a passive event. Living spiritually is the activity of living out from center in every situation regardless of what others may believe. Living your attained state of consciousness is all that is required. Truth can no longer simply be dinner party conversation or interesting concepts put to the back of the mind while continuing to live life as usual. Living actively does not mean you must shout truth as you know it from the rooftops, or try to convince everyone in your circle to see the world as you do, it means you begin to live it and be it, and that may be a very secret and silent activity. Your light will draw to you those ready to hear what you have to say, but in the meantime, you sweep the floor, go to work, cook dinner, mow the lawn, continuing to do everyday things but from a higher level of awareness. If your work is to be in the world as a truth teacher, you will be guided when the time is right. Often you will feel the urge for something new, but the energy is not yet in place for it to manifest, so do not get discouraged. Most are finding that what they are already doing is expanding and growing into new and higher ways. This is especially true for some healers of all modalities who are finding their practices unfolding into areas and solutions they never knew existed. When a soul opens to being taught from within, many higher and better ways can be downloaded by evolved beings from the other side. This is true for music, medicine, art, anything. When these things come only from the human mind, they are never new, or creative. There are some great composers who simply listened and wrote. Try not to pursue some concept of what being spiritual means, for this simply represents an idea you may be holding about what spirituality is, and what it isn't. Never forget that every action and every breath you take is a divine activity. The three-dimensional world in its quest for and defining of what determines greatness, in reality the search for completeness and wholeness, has caused many dear souls to lose heart, believing they were unworthy and hopeless. Never forget that once you commit to the spiritual journey, you are on your way. You may be guided to a book or a class as new directions unfold for you.
but in general most of you are now beyond needing them other than for the pleasure of spiritual reading or as reminders. You are ready to be taught from within. Trust this. It is why you came. We are the Arcturian Group. Channeled by Marilyn Raphael. www.onenessaval.com